Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I have behind me an amazing Buick Grand National. Now, it's older. It's had work done here and there. Um, lots of engine work and that kind of thing. But overall, this thing's in really great shape. I'm pretty impressed. Now, it definitely needs a paint job, but what we're going to try to do is bring it back as much as possible so that he can enjoy it uh, until he wants to get it painted. We've got paint bubbling. I'm sure you can see all that. Let me see. Uh, oh, there you can see it there really well. We got paint bubbling, we got paint chips all over the place. I'm pretty sure I have my universal black that I keep in my polisher bag. I mean, you, just, you can just see how hazy the hood is. We got big scratches. So the goal is just to make it look better. And anytime you go polishing a vehicle that has some gloss, but has many, many, many imperfections, when you polish it, those imperfections are going to be a hundred times worse looking than they were. They will be improved upon, and you can tell this car has been repainted already just by uh, the tape line that I see here. Uh, and it definitely, the T-tops leak a little bit. Anyway, like I said, we want to make it look better. So we've got these areas here. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to try to improve that because it looks like poo. Um... Random scratches, scuffs, lots of haziness. I uh, got some oxidation happening on the little wing here. Um, I'm going to chip this back. This here. Because I'm going to add some black universal touch up to this spot. And that spot. And then there's a few other spots around the car. Not sure what happened there, but somebody did some trimming. So, that's the plan is to uh, just touch up some chips and that kind of thing and make it look amazing. So we shall see if we can get that working. So I've got my little kit here. Um, I'm gonna be washing it first with the Gary Dean wash method. And so after that, we're gonna go ahead and clay bar it. And then I'll do some 50-50s most likely on the hood and the trunk area because those are the worst with the oxidation. And we will uh, show you what's up after that. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up to get rolling and we'll be back once I have uh, started the polishing process so you can see exactly what's going on on this beautiful Buick Grand National. All right, so real quick, this right here is my Japanese clay bar. You guys know that's white when it starts, but that and that were just this one side of the trunk lid. So it definitely has not been clay barred in a long time. And I suspect it was painted somewhere uh, on the car. And this is just overspray from that. So anyway, we're uh, hustling to get this thing prepped so we can start polishing on it. All right, so now I've used my universal all-in-one on this rear uh, of the trunk lid. You can see a huge difference. You've noticed something different about this stuff. That's because there's a sprayer head on it. It works awesome. In fact, it works better if you spray it on because of the thinner viscosity of the actual polish. Uh, this is water-based and volatile organic compound free. So it's safe for you to use, safe on the environment, and it really works. You can see this is all hazy here. And then where the tape line was, you got clarity and much more gloss. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. That wasn't the point of doing this job. The job uh, is just to make an awesome car look better until he decides he wants to either put some money into paint or just keep washing it after the polish. It'll look great. So you can see right there, tape line was there and here. Again, universal all-in-one from detailjuice.com. If I can get it to focus, there we go. All right, um, I'm actually gonna have Vanna White, but not really. Hold the camera, if you don't mind, ma'am. Where I can uh, show you a quick demo of the Universal All-in-One. 
This car has some black overspray all over it. So as usual, I'm going to use my trusty Harbor Freight dual action polisher. Um, they sell this polisher now under the Bauer name with the same uh, casing and everything as this. Um, which some have reported that it's a little less powerful. Um, I don't think that's going to matter. In fact, I run this thing at speed 5. So if on speed 6 that Bauer unit is uh, the same as this is on speed 5, I would be happy with that. Um, you can see that there's some overspray on the paint. Um, really hazy, tape line, universal all-in-one with the sprayer. Now here's the benefit. Normally with a polish you would put the polish on the face of the pad. The problem with that is you've got dots. Then you've got to rub it into the paint to spread it around the surface of the pad uh, to prime the pad. You don't want to dry buff because the pad will actually um, scuff up the paint if you don't have the polishing oils, or shouldn't say oils, the water in this is the polishing lubricant. Uh, if you don't have that in between the pad and the paint, you're going to be scuffing it all up. So that's counterproductive. Then you've got to fix that. Ain't nobody got time to be chasing your tail. So anyway, we developed the Universal All-in-One to be sprayable out of the sprayer. So uh, you'll notice when I spray it on here, very even distribution. You've got more product on the pad that's not rolling off the pad or soaking into the pad. You're using less product, which basically inflates your bottom line. So you see that spray? I put two light sprays. We'll do uh, just another mist. And then I spread it around just a little bit. And then here we go. So, did you notice how fast the polish uh, flashed? Pretty fast. So, basically, I, do, I consider a section pass two to three passes. So I just did three passes on this for one section pass, and these are the results. So, really quick results. Is it perfect? No. Does it look like this? Absolutely not. That's what an all-in-one is best at, is just changing the looks of everything more temporarily, if you will, than a dedicated polish because, so my infinite finish is the same polish structure without the ceramic acrylics uh, pro hybrid uh, blend in there. So. The infinite finish is going to be the same polish without the added ceramic and acrylic protective properties. So that's going to give you a little bit more bite because it's not diluted with the, the protective product. Uh, so if that gives you any idea about how, how much more aggressive with the same or better end gloss you'll get with the infinite finish over the universal all-in-one. But this right here really makes everything look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep rocking and rolling and get this bad boy done. All right, we're cranking right along. Um, I filled in these areas, I chipped them back and I filled them in with black paint. They don't look amazing, but what I wanted to do was chip it back and then I wanted to basically use the paint as a glue so that it won't chip anymore. So that's the thought process behind what happened there. I am about to address whatever's going on here. I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna put some tape 
uh, over these uh, black air well maybe I won't I don't know we'll see but I got it here too there was a stripe on the car which you can see where it was at but anyway I've done uh, three quarters of the hood you can see it's not perfect it's not supposed to be but it looks way better all the haze there all the gloss here all I used was my universal all-in-one and that's it looks great um, I also did a section of the rear or the trunk lid you can see how awesome that looks so that's what we're doing we're improving the look of the car uh, we're not doing a true multiple step paint correction or any of that drama we're trying to shine it up because it looks great it just needs to be looking greater where we're at so um i don't know what's going to happen with that but he is concerned about it so i'm going to start addressing that now before i move on to the rest but i just want to give you guys an idea of what's happening had the uh, lovely tony cleaned up the wheels um definitely got to readdress whatever you put on the tires tony um but looks great that tire looks great it was the transform dressings problem, not Tony. Uh, it just didn't didn't stay on evenly like it did on the other tires. You can see. So we're just going to add more to that and even it out, and we'll be good to go. All right, back to work. All right, so. We had this issue to contend with. Uh, it looks like it's just in the surface. Uh, Universal All-in-One took straight care of that over here. So no more issues over here with that. So got her done, super stoked. So that's Universal All-in-One with the Buff and Shine Orange Pad and the Harbor Freight DA. Gotta love it like I do. Back to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this Buick Grand National is done. Now, wash happened with the Gary Dean wash method and forever rinseless. Um, only because that was convenient. Uh, and then I clayed with my Japanese clay bar from detailjuice.com. Then I gave the whole thing down, a uh, wipe down with universal clean and prep. Um, after that, I polished everything with Universal All-in-One, which uh, gave it this brilliant gloss that you see. Now, it's still heavily riddled with defects, but it's black, not dark gray, and it's incredibly glossy now. So, it looks like a proper Grand National from probably, I don't know, 8 to 10 feet away. You'd never know half that stuff was there. So, uh, before I polished, I went ahead and chipped out that area uh, and filled it in with universal black gloss touch-up paint. I also did the same with that bare metal spot. All I wanted to do was keep it from uh, getting worse or do what we could to keep it from getting worse. And that's kind of where we're at. So, it's just a one-step polish to enhance the gloss and remove all of that haze that that thing had. And it looks brilliant now. We cleaned the wheels, dressed the tires. Um, the tires got transformed dressing first. And then I had Tony clean them off and uh, do a very light coat of uh, tough tire gel. Uh, because of the different compounds, that's a way sticky. Those, those are Mickey Thompson uh, ET Street SS's. So, the compound is different than the front tires so it didn't take the dressing as well it's pretty common uh, we could build that up and make it look glossier but not a huge deal um, I was able to get all of the dull spots from above uh, this trim piece and it was really bad over here So those are all gone. Uh, and then uh, we just wiped it down after the Universal All-in-One. We wiped it down with uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. 
uh, to add some protection, slickness, and gloss. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Very glossy. And it's very well protected. Even though it was a very basic situation, it's got at least nine months worth of protection. But the reality is here in Florida, the combo I put on lasts over a year, no problem. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that listen to me babble. Uh, I got a lot of new stuff going on. I'm launching a brand new business uh, actually next week, uh, unrelated to detailing uh, as usual. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur, what do you want from me? I love business and I uh, also like making money, so what are you gonna do? Uh, so anyway, lots of stuff going on, lots of detailing stuff going on, lots of other things going on, but just stay tuned. There's gonna be lots more stuff on my YouTube channel. If you've noticed, uh, I haven't been posting too much lately. I've been busy. So check out Gary Dean's Detail Just Nation if you wanna learn more about uh, my products, processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, it's a group on Facebook where you can learn about everything I'm doing. Uh, send us a request, we'll get you in there learning. And if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. I'd be more than happy to help you out with your detailing endeavor. Give me a shout if you need me. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, check out DetailJuice.com for products that make your car look this good. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.